Welcome class of 2025 to our scheduling presentation for the 2021-2022 school year. My name is Melissa Reisner and I'm the school counselor for students last names S through Z. Our counseling staff is eager to work with you throughout your four years here at Miamisburg High School. Students last names A through D will be working with Mrs. Susan Stromp. Students last names E through K will work with Mrs. Shiana Kurtz, and students last names L through R will work with Mr. Zach Myers. We look forward to meeting and working with you in the next few years. We would like to go ahead and present you with information that is valuable to you as you plan your high school career. Required credits for graduation for the class of 2025 include four credits of English, four credits of math. Those four credits of math must be taken at the high school in grades nine through 12. For those of you who have taken algebra one or geometry while you are at the middle school, your credits will count in the graduation total, but do not count toward those four credits of math during high school. So you will still take four credits of math um, during high school. In addition to math, three credits of science are required for graduation. Three credits of social studies are required for graduation and elective credits. You must have one half credit of health, one half credit of physical education, and we'll, we'll talk about that further in the presentation, one credit of fine arts, and six elective credits that must include some specific requirements. The state of Ohio requires additional, um, additional things for graduation. First, students must demonstrate competency in step one. So they must earn a score on the Algebra one and English Language Arts two exam of a 684 or above, or choose from one of the following requirements. Demonstrate career readiness, enter into a contract in the military upon graduation, earn credit for one math and or one English course through College Credit Plus for the subject area that's not met in step one with demonstrating competency. Also, students must earn at least two diploma seals for graduation. Those must be at least one Ohio designed diploma seal. And there are a variety of diploma seals that are um, available to you. Ohio means job readiness seal, the industry recognized credential seal, college ready seal, military enlistment seal, citizenship seal, science seal, honors diploma seal, seal of biliteracy, technology seal, community service seal, fine and performing, performing arts seal, and the student engagement seal. Your high school counselors will work with you throughout your years and at the high school to identify the seals that work best for you. We wanna take a minute to talk about world language. Many of you may have taken world language while at the middle school and your teachers will work with you in your planning um, for your schedule for next year and advise you on um, what step you would go after the course you're currently in. For those of you who have not um, yet taken a world language, we want to make clear that world language is not something that is a requirement for graduation. So it's not in the um, graduation requirements for the state of Ohio. However, many of our students that are planning on attending a four-year university may need to work at least um, two to three years of world language into their schedule. Um, when you're planning for taking your classes next year, you may want to um, choose a world language and start that next year. But please also remember, if you make the choice to um, start as a sophomore, you could still earn three years of a world language starting your sophomore year. Also available to students is the honors diploma. The criteria are um, listed on the screen. 
Um, in addition to graduation requirements, it requires a fourth year of science, a fourth, I'm, I'm sorry, fourth year of science, a fourth year of social studies, three units of world language, and um, a GPA of a 3.5 on a 4.0 scale that's unweighted, and um, a composite ACT of a 27 or above. Um, you must meet out of that criteria, you must meet all but one of the criteria. You can leave one out and still earn an honors diploma. It's important to note that when obtaining an honors diploma, it does not require that you take the honors level of courses. So students could take a college prep curriculum um, or in, take some classes in the general curriculum, but as long as they meet that criteria, they will and can still obtain an honors diploma. Important information for athletes. Students are, who participate in school athletics should be aware that the nine weeks before your sport begins is what determines your eligibility for your season. So an example would be our students who are um, fall athletes will need to make sure that their um, fourth nine weeks grades um, meet eligibility requirements for them um, to begin their athletics with us in the fall. If you have more, more questions, be sure to ask um, your coach or um, one of your counselors. We also want to talk about um, athletics in terms of students who are wanting to pursue Division I or Division II athletics after high school. Decisions that you make beginning next school year can impact your eligibility in athletics if you're pursuing Division or Division I, II athletics. Students who want to pursue this need to register after their sophomore year with the Eligibility Center. And we can provide more information about that to you when you are here at the high school. One also important thing that's um, to note is that students must take courses that the NCAA approves um, in order to be eligible for NCAA athletics and, and receive the proper grades in those courses. So we have listed the core courses that meet eligibility requirements and we have a, a sheet and handout that will be available to students if they are in need of that. Um, so um, one important thing to point out is that a lot of times the general level of courses do not meet those requirements for NCAA. And if you have further questions, please ask us. Our program of study is something that students will be given um, when they meet with their um, team teachers. And this is something that gives the information from our um, presentation here, but also will um, give students the opportunity to learn more about the courses they are taking. There are course descriptions in here that talk about every course that we have available at the high school. So it's something very valuable for you students to review and also for your parents to share with them. But you will be given a hard copy of this um, when you meet with your um, team teachers about scheduling. Important thing to note is that school fees um, for the high school are based on the course. So some, uh, school, some school courses have fees that are more than others. You can consult and look in that program of study and it will detail each fee um, for the course. School fees should be paid yearly and are based on the materials and then consumables that are used in each individual course. Student registration. Every student must be scheduled for a full school day. And for students that are um, scheduling for the regular school day, if you have a PE course in your schedule, you will be scheduling for 6.75 credits. Um, if you do not, you will be scheduling for seven full credits each day. Um, an important thing for you to note is that freshman orientation for, for students will be on Wednesday, August 4th um, this year. And more details will be coming from the middle school um, for you and for your parents at that time. But you could go ahead and mark that down on your calendar for August 4th. 
There are several ways to meet PE requirements at the high school, and we'd like to talk about each of those three ways. Um, the state of Ohio requires a half credit of PE. Our PE courses are the first way, um, I'm sorry, the PE waiver is one way that students can meet this requirement. PE waiver is available for students who compete in a school sanctioned sport, our marching band, our color or our color guard. Um, students must complete two seasons of one of those activities and it does not have to be the same activity in order to receive both PE waivers um, that allow them to fulfill their PE requirements. If you are signing up to do the PE waiver, please do not sign up for a PE course on your scheduling um, sheet unless you really want to be scheduled into a PE course. Another way to meet PE requirements is through the Physical Education Flex Credit. This is for students who compete and do things outside of the school day. Examples in the past have been students that perform in dance, martial arts, um, horseback riding, um, different activities that provide physical um, education that are not available at our high school. Students that are doing the PE Flex Credit must receive 60 hours of the activity during the semester and they have additional um, applications and things that need to be filled out for the PE Flex Credit. Um, so two of those PE Flex Credits are required in order to meet graduation requirements. Another option that is also available is to take two PE courses. So the PE courses at the high school are each a quarter credit and students would take um, two of those. So students will receive a scheduling sheet from their middle school um, team teachers that will be um, occurring on February the 11th and students will view this presentation and then you will um, talk with your team teachers and receive your scheduling sheet. These will be taken home to your parents to be reviewed and um, signed off on. There are two parts to this sheet. The scheduling sheet on the front begins where you would choose your courses. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Your eighth grade team teachers will be guiding you into the cr proper course selection for your English, math, science, and social studies courses. They will help you choose those selections based on how you are doing in your classes currently and any further testing information that they have. Your world language teachers will also guide you if you are currently in world language if you are not and you're choosing to take world language for the first time, your team teachers will help you based on how you're doing in your English course um, to guide you for world language. Elective courses, students must schedule up to seven credits if they're not choosing a PE course. So additional electives are selected. We would like students to choose from the electives that are required for graduation. So. Um, choosing some of the fine arts to get that requirement out of the way, um, choosing um, the gym classes, computer applications, and health. We prefer that students try and get those things out of the way when they are um, freshmen and sophomores because additional classes become available to them in elective areas when they're juniors and seniors and they need to have those completed. After your full schedule is filled out, you will be asked to include four alternative electives. These are for students in case we cannot schedule them into the courses that they want, the main courses. So please choose four additional alternative electives in the event that we can't get you into your schedule. Um, those electives should be listed and should not include electives that you've chosen in your schedule already. There is a section on that course selection sheet if you are choosing PE waiver. Um, if you do, please select if you're gonna be two, doing two seasons or one season of sport um, during your freshman year and then list what, what um, sports you would like to take. 
We know that some students have not tried out for teams yet. It does not tie them to doing this. And if something would change during the school year and your child would need to take a PE course, um, we can help them with that. So please be in contact if something changes in, in your plans for that PE waiver. There's a section also on the PE flex credit. And then there is a box for NCAA eligibility. It helps your counselor if you let them know if you are intending on playing a sport and possibly competing at the division or division one or two level. Um, so this is helpful to us and you just need to check the box saying yes or no if that's something of interest to you. When all of that is completed, you will sign your course selection sheet and your parent will also sign. On the back of the course selection sheet is the educational planner. This is something that's important as you are planning out your four years at Miamisburg High School. Um, this is something that you can fill out and many students will take a picture of so that they have that as they go through their four years to help them filling out additional course selection sheets. Um, it gives us talking points as counselors to be able to assist students with further information um, that we have about um, something leading to possibly the major they want to go into or the desired um, career area that they want to go into. So it's very helpful if, if students can give us the best information they can on the educational planner. After you've done this, your course selection sheet is complete. Your course selection sheet will be due to your team teachers by February 18th. They will collect those and, and share those with the school counselors at the, the middle school. Um, some information for our current PLP students. If you are participating in PLP for the second semester, the Miamisburg Middle School counselors will be reaching out to you to help you with your course selection sheets. Um, we will also have this presentation and the um, course selection sheets available on the Miamisburg um, High School website on the Miamisburg City Schools webpage. So you can go there and access that information. And then the school counselors will be working with you the weeks of February 16th through February 26th to complete your scheduling sheets. I want to talk a little bit about the differences in weighting and grades for um, our courses. We have general courses that receive a general GPA. We have um, honors courses that have a bump in the GPA and, and raise the GPA further. And then we have AP courses that raise the GPA in um, the highest manner. So those courses that you choose will go into and factor into your GPA as you go through um, your four years here at the high school and there is different weighting for different courses. Please be aware that if you choose and are selected to take an honors course and make that choice or AP course, you are committed to taking that course for the next school year. So it's something that you cannot change your mind and drop. Um, so make those course selections very carefully when you are notified if you have the availability of taking an AP or honors course. We'd like to talk just a minute about College Credit Plus. This is something that is available to students grades 7 through 12 who meet the criteria. In January, we had a meeting to talk about College Credit Plus, and that information is on the Miamisburg City Schools website. If you were not able to attend that meeting, please go to the website and you can view the, view the presentation and the materials that were presented that day. College Credit Plus means that students are college ready as a high school student. They must meet additional criteria in order to qualify to take a College Credit Plus course. We have these courses available at Miamisburg High School. Um, those courses are listed on, on your screen. Um, these are great options for students. The vast majority of our students taking College Credit Plus are doing so as juniors and seniors. So we do have some freshmen and some sophomores that take it, but very few because they are still meeting their requirements for graduation um, at that time. Questions about College Credit Plus, you can obtain a form if this is something that you are interested in 
from your uh, middle school counselor and they can assist you with that and share those with us. Looking ahead in your high school career, options that are available to you, your junior and senior year, um, we have the Miami Valley CTC that has wonderful programs and we will take a um, visit to the CTC during your sophomore year so that you can apply if that's something you're interested in. There are a variety of, of different programs that they have um, and the, many of those programs are something called tech prep. Um, this is something that gives a student a scholarship to continue on to Sinclair Community College after graduation. Um, we also have tech prep programs available at Miamisburg High School in the areas of media arts, information technology, and exercise science. So these are options that are available to students during their junior and senior year. One other um, thing to note is that students have the ability to apply to the National Honor Society in the fall of their junior year. Um, this is an organization that recognizes students for their excellence in the area of scholarship, service, and leadership and character. Uh, more information can be found on page 19 of your program of study. Grading periods are nine weeks in length at the high school. Um, grade cards are printed at the end of each semester. So first and third, sem first and third quarter grades are available to view on progress book for the quarter. And then um, second quarter and fourth quarter grades, report cards will be printed and sent home to students and families. If you have any questions about progress book, you can contact your um, school counselor or counseling office. Um, we want to point out that you, the choices that you make beginning next year build your high school transcript. Um, and there are many people who will ask for your transcript. This includes military recruiters, um, colleges, universities, and then employers. So it's very important to build the best transcript that you can as you work through your four years at Miamisburg High School. Please stay connected with us. Um, we are, um, have a class of 2025 um, Google Classroom, and you can use the code that we have on the screen there to subscribe to that. Um, and then also follow us um, on Instagram. Please contact your school counselor if you have any questions and know that your team teachers will be working with you on your course selection sheets. I appreciate your time today and look forward to working with you next school year.